Greetings everyone. Let's start with today's topic that is basic concept of management. The section we'll cover under this are organizing nature, importance and processes. So beginning with the definition, organizing is the function of management which follows planning it involves division of work among people whose efforts must be coordinated to achieve specific objectives and to implement predetermined strategies. Moving on to the next topic, that is nature and characteristics of organizing. From the study of various definitions given by different management experts, we get the following information about the characteristics or nature of organization. The first is division of work. Division of work is the basis of an organization. In other words, there can be no organization without division of work. Under division of work, the entire work of business is divided into many departments. The next one we have is coordination. Coordination refers to uh, functioning together of various departments under organizing different persons are assigned different works where the aim of all these persons happen to be the sum the attainment of the objectives of the enterprise. Organization ensures that the work of all the persons depend on each other's work, even though it happens to be different. The next one we will talk about is plurality of persons. Organization is a group of many person who assemble to fulfill a common purpose. A single individual cannot create an organization. Common objectives. There are various parts of an organization with different functions to perform, but all move in the direction of achieving a general objective. The next one is well-defined authority and responsibility. Under organization, a chain is established between different posts right from the top to bottom. It is clearly specified as to what will be the authority and responsibility of every post. The next one is Structure of relationship. Relationship between persons working on different posts in the organization is decided. In other words, it is decided as to who will be the superior and who will be the subordinate. The next one is machine of management. Organization is considered to be a machine of management because the efficiency of all the functions depend on an effective organization. The last one here is universal process. Organization is needed both in business and non-business organization. Not only this organization will be needed when two or more than two people work jointly. Moving on the next slide, we are now going to discuss importance of organization. Organization is one of the basic functions of management. Organizing includes establishing an appropriate structure of relationships among the various positions and individuals in the organization. A sound organization structure can contribute to the success of an enterprise in more than one way. It is as the matter of fact that the backbone of management. The significance of sound organization will be clearly starting in the following factors. The first, which is it facilitates a coordination. Organization is an important means of bringing coordination among the various departments of the enterprise. It creates a clear cut relationship between the departments and helps in laying down balance emphasis on various activities. The second one here, it, it facilitates management. The function of organizing is very much necessary for the performance of other functions of management like planning, staffing, directing, and controlling. The third one here is it facilitates growth and diversification. Sound organization help in growth and expansion of the enterprise by facilitating its efficient management. Sound organization helps in keeping the various activities under control and increase the capacity of the enterprise to undertake more activities. The next one here is it provides scope of training and development. An effective organization facilitates delegation of authority, which is an important device of training and developing the personnel. Delegation of authority is also an important means of directing the subordinates. Next one is it provides for optimum use of technological innovations. Sound organization structure is not rigid, but it is flexible to give adequate scope for improvement in technology. The next one here is it ensures an optimum use of human resource. 
fund organization matches the job with the individuals and vice versa. It ensures that every individual is placed on the job for which he is best suited. This helps in the better use of individuals working in an enterprise. Now we'll talk about process of organizing. Now as one of the most important functions of management, organizing follows a meticulous process. The following are the steps of the process of organizing. The first one is identifying the work. The first very obvious step in the process of organizing is to identify the work that has to be done by the organization. This is the ground level from which we begin. So the manager needs to identify the work and the tasks to be done to achieve the goals of the organization. The second one is grouping of work. For the sake of smooth flow of work and smooth functioning of the organization, similar tasks and activities are grouped together. The third one here is establishing hierarchy. The next step in the process of organization is to establish reporting relationships of all the individual employees of the company. So a manager establish the vertical and horizontal relationships for the company. The next one is delegation of authority. Authority is basically the right of an individual that he has to act according to his wishes and extract obedience from others. So when a manager is assigned certain duties and responsibilities, he must also be delegated authority to carry out the, those duties efficiently. The next one is coordination. Finally, the manager must ensure that all activities carried out by various employees and groups are well coordinated. Otherwise, it may lead to conflicts between employees, duplication of work, wastage of time and efforts. The ultimate aim is to ensure that the goal of the organization is fulfilled. Thank you.